Okay guys, I am back out again today, new hunt, by myself today, Aaron and I couldn't get our schedules right, so uh, we weren't able to get together this week, um, at least not yet, this is just, you know, a small hunt that I'm doing. I actually came back to a place I did a couple of weeks ago where I found a melted silver quarter over by the tree and a uh, token over here, but I figured I'd come back and do the rest of the yard, I didn't really hit too much of this area. Uh, when I when I started but anyway first find I got a button Now it looks like a military button. I think it is but I've never seen that design before around the uh, around the edges like that It's iron backed So I'm not sure if this is military or not. I mean, it sure looks like it's like a Navy button I'll look it up. I mean it can't be that old probably you know World War one World War two era this is an old mining townhouse, 1900s, you know, not too bad, but all right. Uh, hopefully I can maybe tease another piece of silver out of here, maybe another mercury dime or something, I don't know. Don't have a lot of time, but since uh, couldn't hook up with Aaron today, I figured I'd just stop at this place and see what else we find. So, all right, hopefully there's more. See you on the next. All right, still messing around the backyard here, and uh, just found this little, I don't know if it's a cufflink. Let me see if I get it in focus there. It's not precious, it's not gold or anything, but it's pretty neat. I don't know how old it is, probably not very, but it's like a Spartan guy on the, on the front there. It's kind of pushed in a bit, but I don't even know if that's glass. I think it's plastic. <laughs> oh, well. Well, it's a fine. So we're going to continue tons and tons and tons of signals in yards like this. It's got ash fill in it and I made just all kinds of stuff. I picked up a bunch of clad marble in one of the hole, uh, one of the holes that I dug. So I'm going to keep going see how, uh, see what else comes out of here. See you on the next. All right, next fine. Not much. I thought it was silver when I first dug it. Ooh, let me get it in the sun here. Actually, I just put it right back there and do it like this. Uh, it's an immaculate heart of Mary pendant pin. Let's see if we get it better that way. I think it's just silver plated, but came up pretty good. Yeah, I'll throw a picture of it in, but eh, it's something. I'm still working in this yard. Right by that tree there is where I found that burned up uh, Washington Quarter a few weeks ago. I got a silver dime here, a couple of, I think I got like two mercs in this yard. So anyway, I'm going to keep going and uh, see what else we find. See you on the next. All right, guys, starting a new hunt today. Aaron and I are out. He's over there by the... Hi, Aaron. <laughs> we got on uh, this place. Aaron did some scouting and got us a permission. Nobody lives here, but looks like an older house, 1800s. And uh, we got a decent amount of property to do here. We can do anywhere, basically anywhere where the grass is cut. But uh just started swinging. I'm actually on my first pass, and... I pulled up an Indian, 1905 Indian head penny. Not too bad a shape, so it's a decent start. Oh, Aaron just found something. It look, looks like it's more modern, but you just got a pocket watch. Wow, well, it's, it's a wrist watch. Wrist watch, yeah, 80s. not a pocket watch. It, uh... Yeah, probably 80s or something, right? Yeah. 80s, 90s. What? That looks like. Is that like a kid's? Like yeah. Pink and yeah. what's the face? See the face? 
Okay, yeah, it's got some neat colors in there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, hey. Vintage. Yeah, vintage. There you go. <laughs> but, all right, we're going to keep going here. Hopefully, we make a few finds here, and we got some other ideas for today. So, hopefully, there'll be more. We'll see you on the next find. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to attempt a live dig. Hopefully, it's not cursed of the live dig. Check this signal out. 92.93, which on the simplex is usually uh, silver. It's going to be like a silver quarter or something. And it's pretty small, so attempt a live dig on it. Hopefully, like I said, it's not curse of the live dig. Don't scratch it. I know. Try to give it a wide berth. There you go. Hopefully, this will be silver. The root system of this grass is... Well, it's right here. Ah, curse of the live dig. There we go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, hey. That's some age to it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a colonial, I don't know, octagon or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, well. We'll keep digging. Should have been a should have been a silver quarter, but this is what it this is what it is when you're detecting. All right, guys, uh, we'll see you on the next. <laughs> All right, Aaron just found something a little unusual. He's cleaning it off. We're not sure what it is. If it's it looks religious. I don't know if that's plated. Is that a little rust like around the the head area there? Or? It looks like it could so, be some rust. But looks like it's a plated something or another. Back says Italy. Cool. And it's got a little chain on the top attached. A little chain and three hooks. Huh. So I don't know. Almost like a key holder, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. It, just a guess. That's mm -hmm. a neat little what's it, huh? Yeah. It was a high tone. Was, was it? Yeah. Nothing seems to be real deep here. I just got a, a wheat penny a few minutes ago. I didn't film and. I don't know, it wasn't that deep, maybe three or four inches, but that Indian was shallow too. I don't know. I don't know. Check it out. Clean Anybody knows there. what it is, leave me a leave us a comment below if you recognize whatever this is. Pretty cool. Alright, Aaron. That's it's something. Yeah. Alright guys, we'll see you on the next. All right, guys, we're finished up on this house. We covered the, the front and the back of, uh, quite a bit, hit the sides too, so wasn't a lot here. Um, I mean, as far as I found, I got did get that Indian, and I got a wheat penny, a couple of other, some clad and some, there's a little little button there. And uh, Aaron found that cool little plate thing that says Italy on the back here. Um, and he did find a change purse, but unfortunately no coins with it. Old brass doorknob, a uh, uh, little matchbox car or something, or Hot Wheels. He found a couple more coins, but all clad, except for these last two are wheat pennies. So, we didn't get skunked anyway. We got something out of the place. So, we, uh, we have another lead. We're going to go check on that, and hopefully uh, we get on another permission, and... Score a few more finds, so day is still young. We'll see you on the next hunt or next find. All right, guys, we switched locations. Matter of fact, out there in the distance, in that pasture out there, is where two videos ago, way out past this tree right there, and where those other trees are in the back, I think right across from them trees in the back, is where Aaron and I found the two seated quarters two videos ago. So we're at the guy's house, the farmer's house. Uh, this place, again, has been detected before. However, uh, Aaron and I decided to give it a try. And I just got a token. I'm not sure what kind of token it is. There's some writing on it. I'm going to have to clean it up better in order to see it. But it says $5 off. Pretty big size token. Was screaming at me when I popped it out of the plug 
for a minute there I got thought I got lucky and got another half dollar but so just a token but pretty cool I'll try to clean this up and see if I can identify it or get some words off it or something but we're gonna stick around here a little bit more the uh, like I said that's the field where the seeds came from and over here is another house that the farmer's son owns and he said we can do that now like I said these places have been detected before but hey you see what we find at uh, places that have previously been detected so all right we're gonna keep going see you on the next all right guys uh we're still out still at it yet another permission we have been on a bunch of permissions today and just really aren't doing too well which is sometimes the way this goes um you can't find you know great stuff every time you go out but we're really scratching for it today but at this place i just got a flat button and it looks like oops sorry about that looks like it's got a little bit of fancy on the back of it here so this is going back to early 1800s. Now the place, the property that we're doing here, that house was built in 1879. It was finished in 1879. But this flat part right here, and this little field right here, was the original house that burned down. Uh, this guy is actually like sixth or seventh generation um, of the same family that lives here. And he said that this was the first house that was here. Uh, and it's no longer here, but... Uh, this would have been built in the 1820s to 1830s somewhere, he thinks. So finding the flat button makes sense. But we're going to keep going. Hopefully there's something else here. Uh, like I said, we just really haven't been doing good today. But all right, we'll see you on the next. All right, so not too long after I got that button, it's over there by my machine. Aaron called me over and he got a signal and dug up. Same thing, he done himself a flat button. Let's see here. I'm not sure if there's some writing on the back of that. We'll have to have to send me some pictures when you get it cleaned up. But yeah, regular flat button, same date, probably like 1820s to 1840s. Like I said, it's been a very slow day for us. We're filming buttons. <laughs> uh, still, this is the you know type of stuff that we're looking for. So. We got the right age, so, all right, good job, Aaron. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna continue. We still got a little bit of this area to do. Um, I believe the house was on the other side of that tree. It's where I'm getting a lot of junk signals, so. We still got a little bit to do, so hopefully there's more. We'll see you on the next. All right, still going here. Uh, haven't been having much luck, like I said in the last clip, but I did just find me another button. It's a two-piece button. You can see it's got some gold gild on there, but then it looks like it's like rotten on the top there. But it's a two-piece button. I don't know. I might be able to find out something about it if I can get any writing off the back of it. But still, pretty neat find. Yeah, I think it was probably a civilian button. I don't think it's military, but you can see the little stars and stuff on it. Or a little flower design, something. But all right, we're almost done here. We're going to see if we're going to go somewhere else. Or if we're going to wrap it up for the day. We're not sure yet. So anyway, that's the latest find. Two-piece button. All right, see you on the next Okay, there's the clips of all the finds we were able to make for this video. Um, as you can tell, the video is a little bit shorter than normal. And uh, the finds were few and far between. Uh, this happens sometimes. We got on some promising places. But I don't know if some of them were hit before. Or if we just weren't in the right spots. But didn't find a whole heck of a lot in these last two weeks. Now, Aaron and I weren't able to get out together uh, for some of the... Uh, the clips on this this last video we did get out again and I'm working on the video for that and we got a few interesting things coming up um, hopefully we're gonna do a little little trip and uh, coordinate with another 
YouTube are a little bit south of us. So who knows how that's going to turn out. But all right. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like the video, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button for me. That really helps the algorithm, helps to suggest our videos, gets it out there on YouTube. Uh, we just made it over a thousand subscribers not too long ago, so thanks for that. Now, if you enjoyed the videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, catch up on what we're doing because I plan on putting videos out as much as we can find. I'm going to put the videos out. So, all right, until then, thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe, and we'll see you on the next time.